and they boom, they send them right to the trap. Isn't that a good idea? Oh, I agree. Isn't that with a that. good idea? I agree. With they that. did that for flat earth. You go flat earth society. Nobody has went. To, anybody that was on the fence about flat earth, when they go, if they go, you know what? Let me see what this. Because Obama, Obama said it three different times. Obama goes, "This isn't a meeting of the flat earth society." And then again, yeah, another speech. Shit, a, another he? speech. You go, and, and these people with their flat earth society. He's sending people directly to the bullshit. So anybody that's on the fence and going, hmm, what is Everyone's talking about this flat earth. Let me check it out. They go to Flat Earth Society and they got the craziest shit yeah, on there. I it's that. ridiculous. So when you punch, punch go to Google, punch in <laughs> flat earth, and not even society, not even society, just put in flat earth. And they, with, with the flat earth society is now third. They already got a, a, a shitty flat earth production that on, on Wikipedia. That's the first thing that comes up. And obviously, because controlled opposition, oh, is that what dude, you're saying? Of course. So, but but what I'm saying right. is, what I'm saying is, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. What I'm, question. hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying is, why the fuck are they trying to bury flat Earth? If it's so stupid, if it's so dumb, why are they doing to flat Earth what they're doing to 9/11? They're doing it. They're doing the same thing. Why are they making if something's this effort? called a truth, a truther, or a denier? That's when they try to get you not to check into something. Yeah, why, are they, why are they producing anti-flat earth stuff if it's so ridiculous and it's so stupid? And they're already criminals and they're lying about Pat, everything. Pat, question. Drink your um, coffee. Eddie, number one, I, you don't have to answer this, but I, I'm curious. Do you own guns? Absolutely. fucking I, right, I just coming for them guns after this flat earth discussion. <laughs> <laughs> number one. Uh, good number luck. Two, Number two. No, come take it from, from my cold, I, dead hands. Rubber guard. Damn straight. <laughs> yeah, you ain't rubber taking guard. my guys. Here's, I, I got, here's what I want to know. When I look at the moon, is the moon like a, a fucking paper plate up there? Is it, or is it a globe? The moon is mysterious. You know, we only see one side of it. We never see the other side. It's It never moves, not even one half of a degree. It from thousands of years, it's the exact same side. It doesn't spin, and they say it's caught in a synchronous orbit. But if from all... Is that the same from, for the sun? The sun, you can't... You, it's just a bright light. You can't tell what the hell's going on. But with the moon, it's the... Ex we only see the one side. Doesn't make any sense. Even before I got into Flat Earth, for the last 10 years, the moon never made sense to me. I'm like, how... Because then when you pay attention to it, you're like, okay, it, during the crescent moon, okay, it makes sense that if... Because, I mean, people... The conspiracy theory is that this, the light coming from the moon is not a reflection of the sun. The conspiracy theory is the light that the moon actually gives off its own light. It's its own luminary. It's not, it wouldn't be that fucking bright if it's, if it wouldn't reflect light like that. That's the conspiracy theory. And then also they're saying they're measuring the light of the moon, the temperature. And the sun obviously is warmer in the light than it is in the shade. But moonlight, according to the conspiracy theory, is colder in the light than in the shade it's warmer in the shade so what they're saying is that the moonlight is totally different light than the sunlight the moon is a goddamn mystery it never it doesn't rotate and we only see no matter where you are in the world there's societies. it's the same it's the same face it, it it's the but exact same thing but how do flat you, earthers explain you know is it fictitious the you know voyager and all these other crafts that we've sent out to explore you know, and go past all these planets and take pictures and film all these detailed, uh, you know, films of, of these planets. I mean, to me, they're obviously round. I mean, are these Hollywood CGI films or, you know, that's that's what I'm asking. What are flat Earth? Well, saying? well, when you <clears throat> when it comes to the flat Earth, you, you, you got to look at it from um, a whole different stance. It's, it's, it's not like. Uh, it's like it's the grand plan. If, if the, once you understand or once you believe that the grand plan when you're controlling people is to never tell them the truth, you only tell them what, you, what they need to know. You never tell the people the truth. So according to all ancient religions, and, including Christianity, were in a special place. Uh, the lights up in the sky, the stars, they're revolving around us and we're on a flat plane and we're stationary geocentric that's according to ancient religions right 
So um, when you um, when you take when you're a dictator or an emperor, you don't want comp you don't you don't want people knowing what's really going on. You don't want people knowing where they really came from. Why would you tell them? You're trying to control them. You're trying to keep your control. So you don't want to tell them the truth, right? So uh, uh, religion and science or, or astrophysics are completely opposite. On one hand, you have, we're a special place. The lights above us are going around us. Um, a God, our creator, whatever you want to call him, it, there is a creator to this, and this is like some kind of special place, and it's a mystery as to what we're really doing here. And maybe that's part well, of... Of course, no. that, changed, that changed with Galileo, right? It went from geocentric to heliocentric with Galileo. Well, Copernicus, but, but hold on, but hold on. When, so when you're trying to tell... No, when you're trying to control, when you're trying to, first there was uh, um, Pythagoras. He was the first one, like 2,000 years before Copernicus. He, he's the one who said, hey, maybe, because it was always about, are we going around the sun or is the sun going around us? That was the riddle. The riddle, you know, what's, what's going on? Are we going around the sun or is the sun going around us? So Pythagoras, you know, 3,000 years ago or whatever said, uh, we're going around the sun. And, but everyone's saying, no, 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 the sun and everything is revolving around us. We're in a special place. So if, if uh, the key to controlling your people is to not ever tell them the fucking truth, it just, is it coincidence that it's the exact opposite what they're telling us? So instead of being uh, stationary, we're spinning on our own axis a thousand miles an hour. We're going around the sun at 60,000 miles an hour. The sun's going around the center of the Milky Way at 600,000 miles an hour. And the whole Milky Way galaxy is shooting through the universe at one million miles an hour. That's four different motions. Yet we feel nothing, yet everybody believes it. So, so it's the uh, astrophysics is telling us the opposite of what We've, what we've been told by religions. The opposite. We're not special. We're insignificant. As a matter of fact, we're a speck of dust in this fucking endless ocean uh, of uh, the universe, of nothingness. It's nothing. And, you know, it's a whole story. It's like the Big Bang. We came from nothing and we fucking exploded, right? And then there was dinosaurs. And then the dinosaurs died out. Then the cavemen came. And then we, no, no, then the monkeys came. Sorry. And then we came from monkeys. But some monkeys didn't evolve. <clears throat> uh, but we did. Uh, and then, uh, then endless space. And then um, when you look at the grand plan, the grand plan of all emperors was they wanted one world they wanted one religion where they can control. They, it's like a religion for a government is like controlled opposition. They don't want to battle God. They would rather have no one believe in God. But you know what? They got to have a God because everybody, you know, they, you have like everyone. It gives poor is, people hope. Yes. And it gets your armies to kill, you know, for God. So you kind of need that. So you, you kind of just say, okay, yes, there is a God and put a lot of goofy shit in the, your religion to get people. You know, some people are going to believe in it. And then the people that don't, they got, they got the government waiting for them. We got science. We got the scientists over here if you don't believe in that because we don't need everybody to believe in God. It's, it's, that's the first way to divide and conquer. You create a religion. And like every emperor had a religion and they decided what the religion was going to be, right? You didn't choose your religion. Your parents didn't choose their religion. Your government chose your religion, right? So <clears throat> anyways, so when you look at the whole story, you need, you need the big bang, the, 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 the end game. The end game is a one world order. The new world, that's the end game. It's always been that everybody wants, all the emperors, they wanted to control everything. And that's what's still going on now. It's still going on now. So, um, how, how does wait, the earth the, the, being the, round or not round effect? Hold on. I'm well, explaining. I'm, 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 I'm explaining that. I'm explaining that. So, um, the only way to, or the best way, and it's coming, and everybody knows about this, the best way to, to get everyone to agree onto this one world order is a fake alien invasion. They've been talking about this forever. This is part of the grand Project, plan. Project Bluebeam? It, it, it's, it's not even like 20 years old. It's like it's a thousands of years old. They, they need a... That's how they're going to get control. So in order to get people to believe in this fake alien invasion, we got to have endless space and other uh, planets where other beings have colonized. That's the only way they're going to get... extraterrestrial shit, Eddie? Yes, but I don't believe they come from space. I believe they come from underground. 
or or the same oh, or okay. or the same plane like, that I we're know on. we don't have much time. Let me ask you, dude. There is actual science called transit photometry. It's basically using light to measure a planet's like density, mass, temperature, and even their radius. They can tell whether it's circular or not. And this is I'm, I'm not a, I'm a lay scientist, believe me. But I remember this shit from from my college science class on how they use light to measure all this different shit about a planet. But one of the things they used light in this particular transit photometry to measure is their radius. Is is that bullshit? Like, is, well, well, are, if, are if, there circular planets well, and we're, I don't, well, are well, they all f- well, it, like it, Neptune and all that yeah, other shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, listen, if, if the plan is the fake alien invasion and, and, and if it always was the plan, if that was the plan, then wouldn't it make sense if that was real? Let's just uh, hypothetically, we're we're on a flat plane and we're the rulers of this of 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 this flat plane. Wouldn't it be a good idea to us get to establish NASA in 1958 to, to to have all information on what's above us coming from NASA and everything coming because the the stuff that you're talking about, I, I've looked into that. The stuff where they they send a beam and they hit a planet and then they could tell how far it is away and all that. That's all stuff we have no access to 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 verify. It's called scientism. Scientism is science you have to have faith in. It isn't science you could prove for yourself. I mean, like like the, there's other people out there doing shit that you may not know about that still are providing. No, validation. no, but that's yeah. You gotta have, that's called faith. We're talking about faith. Right, no, absolutely. We're talking about faith. If like you know, I don't need faith to like the science in, uh, uh, for instance, Viagra. The science, whatever the science is in Viagra, yeah. I don't need a, to read a scientific study yeah. on Viagra to know it works. Proof is in the boner. Right. Exactly. Uh, Proof is in the boner. Uh, the same uh, thing. Uh. The same thing. Like uh, the like 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 for instance, we go back to 9/11. Uh, the University of Alaska, they did a scientific study on Tower 7 to finally prove it once and for all scientifically if Tower 7 was blown up. And they, the results came in and they, they said, yes, it, it, with all the evidence, yes, Tower 7 was a controlled demo. I didn't need a, a, sci- a group of scientists. I think it's crazier that we needed a, we needed a group of scientists to tell us that Tower 7 was a controlled demo. I think that's ridiculous. Of course they found out it was a controlled demo. There's five angles of it going. It, it, I mean, but as far as like a NIST report, they need shit like that. They need five or six guys to be like, hey, I'm, a, I'm from the fucking University of Controlled Demolition. And well, XYZ, some lawyers. You know what I mean? Yeah, some lawyers. No, all came but out. My, my point is, my point is, that was, uh, the, the, uh, there was another scientific study. Right, right. No, no, hold on. There was another scientific study on the effects of alcohol on your libido. And the results were yes. Alcohol consumption increases your libido. Mm. Does anybody, did anybody need to read that? Did anybody need to read that? No, of course. You know what I mean? You so don't, this, because that's have, not... Have you, have you no, done no, hold the on. Sugar, sugar science that was suppressed? I Ex- mean, there's exactly. the sciences that we fuck with, right? Exactly. That we may not know something exactly. about, but the, the, we know the sugar science was suppressed. We know it's bad mm. for you. We, we trust that, don't we? Yeah, yeah. My, my point is, uh, there's science that's scientific fact, like uh, the, the science that connects my iPhone to the internet... I know that science is real. I don't need to read in a book that says iPhones can connect to the internet. Okay. I know that, right. right? But science that we have no way to confirm, we have to have faith in. Okay, I so get what you're saying. So when I any think science, though, of alcohol, Eddie, I think the science of alcohol improving your libido is garbage. I think it just makes fat chicks look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You should do stand up. That's good. So anyway, I get what I'm going to use that, Pat. I'm going to use that. So what my point is when it comes to science that we like, you know, when uh, uh, you got to look at I mean, so at, you're NASA saying- NASA was You're, formed in oh, 1958 by Nazis. Werner me, von Braun is a Nazi. Right there. I, I, All I, the information I, I, coming I, I, out of NASA. You're not an ophthalmologist, but you're cool with your eye working. You don't have to understand the science to know that certain shit is outside of maybe our realm. No, 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 no. That's it, not what he's saying. Hold on. Let me just say, because it was confusing okay. what you're saying. What I'm understanding is this, is that you can prove that your phone can hook up the internet because you could use it. Yes. Right? You're not going to, you're not going to space, you're not going to, and you take faith in that these people are going, we've been to space, this is what we've learned. We have faith that they are are telling us the truth. That's scientism. Technically, we are not, we have not gone to space, you and me and everybody on the show. Yeah, exactly. So we are taking faith 
yeah. that NASA is telling us the truth when we've seen over time. It, it's a psychological term called object permanence. Uh, Eddie, you know your car's outside. You don't see it, but you know your car's outside. Yeah, but yeah. I can go. I listen. I'm not listen. I love Eddie. I I have I I let I believe I love that he's into that. That's his thing. I love Eddie but too. That's not, not, don't even try. But dude. that's not the same thing, Jeffrey, because I can walk out and touch my car and know it's right there. But I you still, don't see it right now. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about science. Talking about. I'm we're, talking what we're talking. What we're he's talking saying science. is that that we all take the word of people that we've known has lied to us before that this is true shit and that there's a lot of people on it and that even if a scientist came to you going this 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 number you, they're technically you're never going to be able to prove it until you yourself go up there and see it is that what we're saying here basically basically i'm not saying uh you know when 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 NASA says every six months they say they found nine new planets a hundred thousand light years away, I would like to see. I would like to go there and see the process. Show me how you figured that out. Nobody has the access to do that. They just say, you know, they're scientists. They know more than you. How could you? How could you? Uh, you know, not trust scientists. You know, um, I do trust scientists. I do. You know, not, but when it comes to actual experiments that I have no access to and I have no way of verifying it. It, there's no, I have, you don't make any money by believing in scientism. It makes no difference whether you believe that uh, they found seven new planets last year or not. How does that change your life? I just choose not to believe it. I don't believe because they lied so much. They faked six moon missions. NASA was started by Nazis. Warner von Braun directed all six moon <laughs> missions. He's a Nazi. He wrote a science fiction book on on on, on well, co like colon a, colonizing on a, on a closer to home scale. When you think of global warming, I mean global cooling, I mean uh, <laughs> climate change. Um, which is it? You know, Who science do you trust? trust? I feel you, dude. I, they, they fucking changed the moving target, man. I don't know. Eddie, so, that's been the bane of my existence since I was fucking 16, 17 and found out what really happened with fucking JFK, quite frankly, and that's what started me and all this shit. I, they've lied about so much. How do you accept anything? So it's really just up to the individual to have right. their own discernment where they put yeah. the brakes on what the fuck, how much they're lying about. Like from the origin of our fucking history and civilization they're lying about. You know what I mean? The food, the food pyramid, all this shit that exactly. they're trying to do to kill us, they're lying look about. Look at sugar, right. sugar it, science, it. sugar science, tobacco science, marijuana science, all of it, vaccine all of it. science. I'm with you. I, when it comes to science, I'm not going to believe it unless I can verify it. Unless they're going to throw me in jail for it. They go, you better hey, believe, Eddie, you, you better believe that or we're going Joe's to jail, then I'll believe it. Did you see Joe's episode with Steve-O when he talked about he went up in the Soviet MiG and he could see the curvature of the Earth? Have you, well, yeah, dude, what do you think to do of that? We need to go fucking fund me to get Eddie in a, some kind well, of listen, fucking MiG or listen something. To listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this really quick. Talking, 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 before, we, before we stop, what would, what would, would you literally have to see it yourself to see, oh, fuck, that's what I knew. It's flat. Or, holy shit, that's the curvature. Would you literally have to see it yourself? I, all, I, I've said this before. All I would need is an uncut, unedited video. Of, put a video camera on, on without a fisheye lens, right on a, a, one of the astronauts' helmets that are going to the ISS. The internet, they supposedly go like four times a year. Get me the uh, unedited video, them getting on the rocket, all the way up, docking, uncut. I don't care if it takes 12 hours. Get docking and then turning around and, and keeping that camera on the Earth and then turning it into space. If, if I see that, then I might believe. Awesome. Other than He's that, other than that, that why, why would I believe it? Like why? Feet. For what? Yep. What was that? We need to get him up there, ladies and gentlemen. Go fund me. Get fucking Eddie. You don't need to get me. Yeah. You could just do. You, you know what? You know what? You, you don't need. You don't need to go fund me. You just need to put a fucking camera. You can go to Best Buy for twelve dollars. You could put a fucking camera on the dudes that are already going up there four times a fucking four times a year, and they're docking on the International Space Station that's going seventeen thousand miles an hour, and they're docking on something that's going seventeen thousand miles an hour. Show me that shit. Show me that shit. <laughs> I'd like to see that. How come we, we should have we should we, we should have Eddie with fucking Eric Dubé sitting you on his lab and yeah. that shit gone yeah. fucking face. Ah, people, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> what do you want to say about Eric Dubé? You said something that his his uncle or his grandfather was one of, one of his ex's uh, father is in the the royal Thai uh, military and supposedly tied to intelligence. That's all I really heard. Mm. Oh, so he banged he, some strange. He did some, he did some great rap albums. If you haven't heard Eric Dubé's rap. 
Holy fuck, dude. You talk about platinum records. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say uh, it's so interesting considering all of us, we have different points of views, different walks of life. I love that we can come together. We can talk loud, but we don't necessarily need to believe each other's point of view, but we can still walk away with this. With, I mean, this is what America needs to be. We need to compromise as opposed to just build yeah. up walls. And it's one of the things I love about Eddie because he is so passionate about these things. He doesn't care what people think how he puts it out because guess what this is how he feels and for me being a conspiracy theorist he takes so much heat for us and for that man eddie you fucking out there i know no one can fuck with you physically but uh i feel some of the re repercussions in like the message boards i just want to say keep fighting that good fight eddie hey, whether it's thank child you. shit thank or you. fucking flat earth. Hey. i do i appreciate you hey, Eddie brought you. up fucking weird when on joe rogan when he brought up that weird scenes the fucking laurel canyon book and the guy uh david mcgovern or david mcgowan he died of an early cancer i mean I, I, eddie i fuck with you dude i love you brother and when you brought thank that you. up and you brought up conspiracy of silence i was like this motherfucker knows knows what's up dude because that laurel canyon shit ladies and gentlemen check that shit out how Jim many Morrison, ask, ask, ask thank you stuff thank you for that but ask yourself Ask yourself, how many more times does the government have to bullshit you before uh, you don't, you, you don't, you're suspicious of everything? Think about this. CNN is fake news, right? Right. We know that. CNN is CIA, right? Yes. So every, th every time you turn on your phone and, and you see CNN on your fucking iPhone, that's the first thing, you know it's bullshit, right? Yeah. It's never the truth, right? For sure. How about when they put uh, SpaceX just, just uh, got into space again? What about that? Oh, how about when it's when I, CNN I not puts with that? I'm like, why is that car not melting? It's 260 degrees. Exactly. Any, any, anybody who believes that <laughs> shit was real. Hold on, but oh, Eddie, my motherfucking. You God. bring up.